tonight from Soldier Field in Chicago. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Chicago. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Chicago from the six and they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30 time to see the offense for Green Bay go to work Aaron Rodgers leading them what a career it's been came into the league back in 2005 as the number 24 pick out of Cal I think Aaron Rodgers is one of the poster boys for persistence and belief in self because coming out of high school he had zero scholarship offers in the D1 level went to a junior college Went to Cal and just blew up there. And then, of course, is a first-round draft pick, but a lot lower than what he expected in the first round. And then had to sit behind Brett Favre for a few years in Green Bay before getting his shot. Now he's probably one of the better quarterbacks that we've seen come down the pipe. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That's caught. It's Robert Tanya, the tight end. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing now is Rodgers. And that's off the mark, incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again, Rodgers. And this ball's tipped and intercepted. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44 yard line. Mitchell Trubisky taking the field to lead Chicago. Trubisky, the Ohio native, went to North Carolina. 
Been drafted by these Bears as the number two pick in 2017. I talk with people around the league about Mitchell Trubisky when he's coming out of North Carolina. Those that had questions about him, they often centered in on the fact that he was only a one-year starter and wondered why he couldn't beat out the guy ahead of him beforehand. I just locked in on the athletic ability, the accuracy, and then once he got the football, how the team responded to him. I think his upside is big. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 44. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky. And they'll go back to Robinson. This time he's got it. And the out-of-bounds just shy of the 40. 15 yards on the play. First down. Yeah, now that was pretty. They executed that core route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's all going to take tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. And plays like that really hurt players. Really nice game on the previous play, but gave about half the yards back in the second. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Trubisky. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears field goal. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it down from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. First and 10 at their own 23-yard Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. 
But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him. It did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 23. Although a jet sweep to start the drive. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. From the 29, Rodgers. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And really, you can't have a better situation than this. First and goal at the one. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run with Montgomery. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. They'll run for the first time with Tariq Cohen. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. A five-yard touchdown run. Here we go. Here and the we go. Bears will extend their lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. First and 10 at their own 23. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 23. He'll set up the throw from the gun. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's caught at the 25. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. With Equinemia St. Brown, 77 yards. And the Packers are able to strike quickly for six. Even later into his career now, there aren't too many guys that can launch it downfield with accuracy better than Aaron Rodgers. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, 
Here in the stadium, you can just sense the crowd thinking, oh no. And their worst fears were realized is that would turn into a long touchdown. And that throw traveling and even 64 yards in the air. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. the touchdown. Here's Crosby to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Trubisky will throw. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He's going to let this one go deep. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Tyler Irvin back deep. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Brent Urban there to get him down. At well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. To throw, it's Rodgers. 
He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there and a first down. First down, Green Bay. Second and ten. To throw again. Rodgers. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, it's Rodgers. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. It's Khalil Mack that time, shooting in there to get him to the ground. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out, and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. DeAndre Carter back deep. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. David Montgomery, the target out of the backfield, and it's third and short. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try to run for it with Cohen, and he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll move the chains. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where the old man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. It's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force, and they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Trubisky. They'll drop this one down to Cohen. It's a gain of six on the play, and it's a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. 
A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Take him down back at So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though, and they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. On third down, Trubisky. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. And now following that sack, looks like we've got an injured man down there on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Yeah. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and possession will switch, hands first and 10. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. First down, Rodgers got a man. It's Tanyan complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. this they'll try the option left side and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48 a gain of five good enough for the first down well he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well and how about the moving parts on a play like this you know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed but how about once he made the decision to go he committed to it and went let's face it most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense really fooled around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Second and 11. Here's Rodgers to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, we always tell about you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Rodgers now to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. 
And this won't be enough. A good, secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for Green Bay. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. The Packers defense here, they're heading back out onto the field. And they have been disruptive in the backfield. And how often when we see this, as we look at some of these highlights, is it just better players getting in there versus scheme that is defeating the offense? It's a great question. And I think oftentimes we rely on scheme. We fall back and say, well, the scheme broke down rather than giving credit to the players making plays. But when the scheme does break down, you're looking at oftentimes just being overloaded. Too many guys coming from one side or one particular area, then you can actually block them. You know, if there's two guys there to block them, they'll bring three, and that third guy will get through. So when you want to max protect there, meaning getting everyone in, your whole offensive line, your tight end, and your running backs, trying to make sure that you're never outnumbered by the defensive guys coming in. Zadarius Smith able to get him down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Throwing on second and eight, Trubisky, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. Now Trubisky to throw. Being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. And defensively, they had an extra defensive back on the field, their nickel package, and it made a difference. All the receivers were blanketed, so he tried to run for it, but he came up just a bit short. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, it's time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine. Rodgers, this one complete to Tanyan underneath. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. 
oftentimes your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. You're better than this. It's Jones, and he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Get on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Nice, satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From the 41, Rodgers over the middle. That's caught by Adams. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Green Bay. Play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling. 32 yards. And the Packers have taken the lead. Partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Now Crosby for the point after. at 14-10. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. For the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. Beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. With them losing here in the second quarter and his limited productivity so far, you'd have to think they're going to try to look to him a little bit more, right? I would guess you would start to see maybe some quick screens, some hitches, anything to get the ball in his hands quickly and let him try and do some damage after the catch. Or maybe just flip some formations and keep him isolated where it's more of a one-on-one -on -one route and get the ball to him. I say just four verts, right? Hey, why not? Four <laughs> verts, one of the best routes in football. Hard to cover each guy all the way along the route. So far, just one. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Zadarius Smith in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. I'm starting to feel for our quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Really? Don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Play action. Now Trubisky. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet.
After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. Here's Trubisky to throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end command. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Here's Herbin to return. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. The Packers take over first down. Devontae Adams in the Packer offense heading back out. They've got the lead. They haven't really had to utilize him all that much so far, but I guess if you're winning on the scoreboard, not too much to complain about. Not at all, but you know those guys out wide. They want as many catches as they can possibly get. They may need him later on if things get a little tighter. Yeah, so far two catches. We'll see what happens here as the game progresses. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. on first, now second and ten. <laughs> Throwing again, Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. Touchdown, Packers! Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes. And the Packers add on to their lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. Extra point try now for Crosby. It's good, and it's 21-10. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the result, a Green Bay score. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. 
at their own 23-yard line. Back out onto the field comes Allen Robinson. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far, just a single catch in this game. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 23. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. Rolling to his left. He's going to take off with it. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. He's going to look deep down the field, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Oh, the return is Irvin. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, trying to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. <laughs> Throwing on first down is Rodgers. This one complete to Tanya underneath. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. And that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break up a statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. So they move from 136 over to the other as they come up on first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. to throw again. Rodgers. This one complete to Tanya underneath. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Rodgers to throw once more. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Rodgers 
now on first down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. When we see another great performance like this out of Aaron Rodgers, you have to chuckle thinking that his only FBS offer was a walk-on at Illinois. And now he's the pride of Butte Junior College, of course at Cal. And I remember watching him play at Cal, and he would run seven-on-seven -seven drills. Angry if the ball ever hit the ground, and it didn't do it very often. Rodgers now on first down. This will be caught at about the five. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Now Crosby for the point after. And the lead is up to 18 now. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. Hasn't had his best day to this point here in the second quarter. They're losing. You got to think, though, that also means that maybe the defense doing a good job on it. There's two sides to that coin. I would agree. So you have to give them credit. But that means you've got to find a way to beat that defense and make sure one of your top playmakers touches the football and has an impact on the game. Change formations, change where he lines up, put him in motion anything possible to shake him free. Maybe that greater impact comes here on this drive. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. Third down and three yards to go. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Off the play fake, here's Trubisky. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. First and 10 at their own 48-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. 
But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We got an excellent first half from the former MVP, Mr. Aaron Rodgers. He's over 300 yards passing already. How high can he go? To find out, let's kick it back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. going to see the football first and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24 the bears take over first and 10 at their own 24 yards so here's the bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter and following the interception we'll see what they can put together on this drive I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 24. Out of the gun, he'll throw. That's complete to the Memphis man, Anthony Miller. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. On second down. It's Montgomery, four yards, the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Montgomery. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Over the middle complete. It's Robinson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. One of the selling points at the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Caught by Cohen and able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there.
So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trubisky will throw. The screen pass here to Cohen. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On second and seven, Trubisky on the move, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Zadarius Smith make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, this from 34. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. Uh, they didn't play particularly well in the first half. But they definitely need him to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded inside the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. Ron 
Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 right at the 30. He'll set up the throw from the gun. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again. Rodgers slant to Adams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 24. And again, it's Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Three yards the gain there, second down. Brings up second and seven. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And that's complete to Lewis. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert the third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, sometimes I can't do meetings do come out, don't they? What are the guys in the locker room calling? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Thrown away and incomplete. Brings up second and goal. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He hauls it in. Valdez Scantling for the Packers touchdown. Aaron Rodgers on fire. His fifth touchdown pass of the ball game. And the Packers point six to their lead. That job that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Now 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And the result, a Green Bay score. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. The Bears now ready to take over again. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Now with shotgun handoff to Cohen. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Open the man is Komet, the tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. down here's the run with Montgomery three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down well, that's just a pile of bodies there and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy right who can stand up and make a play it was only a three-yard run but for both sides they had to walk away from that feeling like okay I can stand up when the going gets tough in here from the 44 Trubisky, he'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Give him eight on the play, and it'll give him a fresh shut of downs. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now Trubisky to throw. They'll roll him out right. And he's going to keep it here. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit.
to throw again on second down. Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this one. I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now it's Trubisky. Caught on left side by Robinson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. You got the big lead defensively. And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he's going to get this inside the 30. No reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. On first down, Trubisky. Flush to his right. Down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. On the ground, it's Montgomery. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Do you think after that last run, they're thinking to themselves, we had to wait all day to play this night game, and we're still not able to run the ball the way we want to? Yeah, this defense, they've risen to the challenge all evening long. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Cole Komet there to make the grab. And the Bears cut into that lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Trubisky will lead the Bears up to go for two. Now Trubisky. And they're going to get the two-point conversion in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. After the touchdown on is Pat O'Donnell to send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Packers take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. 
Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 26. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. To throw, it's Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I would say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. Yes. Here's J.K. Scott now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Oh, he shifts past him. 40-yard punt, given three on the return, and the Bears take over. The Chicago offense set to get started. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. And he'll drop here to throw. And he completes it to Cohen. Three yards the gain there, second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. 
They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there. That'll bring up second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Second and ten now, it's Trubisky. Steps away, and now he's going to use his legs. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call that? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. From the gun, it's Trubisky. They'll find Miller. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the Packers' 25-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stack sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Now it's Trubisky. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Here we go, it's Trubisky on fourth down. He's gonna float this one deep right side. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Packers D comes up with a big stop. So now with a two minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously twice, but guess what? This thing is not close to being over they need to go ahead and play it out not over as you said two score games still rogers will bring the pack up with a first and ten at about the 32 They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now 
this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. A carry here for the big tight end. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Rodgers will take a knee here and that should be all she wrote. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory. And I know I'm not breaking any news when I say that any road win in this league is a good one. No doubt. But it's a double bonus when you get a victory on the road in your division. And when you start a season, each team breaks down their schedule in different ways. Some do it every four games, right? Let's go quarterly. Others say, listen, we've got to take care of our home field. And you know, out of a 16 game season, if you get eight at home, at least win seven at home and split our road games. That's what you're trying to get done. So you're exactly right. A road win, precious, especially within the division. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Chicago.